Hi Aries, what's going on? My name is Gabrielle De La Garza, AKA New York Doctress. And today I'm gonna to be doing your RN reading. It's just your right now reading. Go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel and donate to my PayPal. Link is in the description. Okay, so I have a couple of cards here already. Um, I was picking up on the fact that I feel like you're showering your kids with gifts, okay? Um, you could have just received some sort of judgment, um, but a good judgment. All right. So I feel like maybe you had a court judgment. Okay. Um, I feel like it goes completely in your favor. Um, so you may receive money from this judgment. I see you like spending it on your kids, on yourself. Okay. You may even receive a job or you may be getting a new job or some sort of new employment. Um, whatever this judgment is, I'm hearing a money judgment. Okay. Um, because I see you getting like a lot of, um, I just heard recognition from whatever this is. Okay. So like whatever you've been doing or whatever you've put together or however this presents itself, um, I feel like it's finally being noticed. And not only are you able to like indulge yourself, but you're doing this for yourself, for your kids specifically. And I feel like you're also working really hard. So you either already have this job, but this looks like a new job to me. Okay. This looks like brand new. So this is kind of cool. Cause I feel like you might be getting a, an advance of some sort. All right. So maybe you're getting like money in advance and then you're going to be working for this new company um, or you win this judgment and you have this new job. All right. So something along these lines, but you look really happy. So I really like this. Okay. And this is something to do with like legalities in some manner. Um, so you might be just signing paperwork. Yeah, like I feel like you're leaving like your old life behind. Yeah, so like I really love this. Okay, so this is gonna um, this is gonna manifest itself very beautifully. I want to say. All right, Aries, what's going on here? Okay, you could work in law enforcement, but not necessarily. All right, I wanna like be mindful of like a Knight of Cups, okay? I don't like the Knight of Cups in this deck right now, but just because he's like very like fragile and just like, um... yeah, like uh, very um, comes across as like, oh, I'm gonna give you everything and then you get left with like absolutely nothing, all right? So just be mindful. This is someone who's like, oh, I'm so loyal, but like, goes out and parties every night and like hooks up with girls, okay? Um, so I feel like you're not blinded to this at all. I feel like maybe if I didn't say something, like at first you might have been, okay? But no, like I feel like you're gonna notice it right away because like they're very, uh, they're, they're very love bomby. I wanna say this, this person like love bombs you, like they come in and they're like, oh, like I'll give you the world. And you're kind of like, I just need a house or something, you know what I mean? Like, like chill out. So I feel like at first, like, or maybe this used to, um, be attractive to you right like you used to like like a guy who would like kind of come in but i feel like maybe over time you notice that it never actually works out that way or like you're used to um seeing the best in somebody rather than like what's in front of you so you're gonna see this right away okay you're not gonna fall for it um yeah you're gonna stand on your own i feel like you're gonna have to like sneak away from someone okay or something like this like i feel like you have to like kind of like not break up with someone like just all of a sudden like you're gonna have to go with someone i feel like i think like you literally have to go with somebody okay because i feel like they're the type of person who like if they know that you're pulling away or they know that um you're not falling for it anymore will like try even more or try harder and like creepier like ways to like be with you be around you be near you um and I feel like it's the that's like the opposite of what you're trying to do. So like you're gonna have to do this like strategically, okay? You may even have to um, okay. This could be like an order of protection that you have to get get against somebody. All right, or this could just be yeah, like for yourself, like you you're trying to protect yourself in some way, okay? Even if it's just spiritually. Okay, this yeah. So I feel like yours and Aquarius is. All right, so you and Aquarius, something about this? Because I want to say your sit, uh, situations are very similar. I just got the same exact two cards that came out. So, but here I just see it like, right, like with your, with your children, okay? Or, because somebody here is helping someone uh, get money or like gather money, okay? And like they're like helping out their family members, but I don't see like a um, a whole family here, right? Like I don't see like a husband, a wife and children. Like I, I really just see like 
a wife and a child, a wife, you hear me? So maybe this is someone who just got divorced um, or like a single woman and their child, okay? Or maybe they have multiple children, but either way, like I, I see a lot of coin, right? So I see a lot of money in all different places. So I feel like maybe a lot of different people might owe you. I feel like this is all coming together and you're getting this, okay? Your children could actually be um, spiritually gifted as well, okay? So they could be manifesting in their own ways. I feel like maybe you guys work together, um, even if it's just on a spiritual plane, okay? Or maybe you guys are, are going on vacation or going somewhere maybe you travel by plane on um, pretty frequently um, and if you don't maybe you're going to and if not this could just be by car but either way I feel like your kid I want to be like your kids are happy okay your kids are gonna be like financially successful I feel like you're gonna help them you're gonna encourage them and I feel like you have the means to do this okay and I feel like you don't mind offering up a little bit more to make sure that like the return is that much greater okay so this could be like a return on investment but like not so much business wise I feel like this is really more like investing in um, your kids and their education, all right? I feel like you kind of have it all down pat for yourself. So like you're willing to like help out in some ways, okay? So I really like this, but I just see money everywhere you look. Um, so I, I love that. So I feel like everything you do is like a money-making, um, I almost heard a money-making scheme, but I don't feel like it's a scheme. I just feel like you find like uh, very peculiar ways to bring in the coin i want to say that okay and this is like physically like this isn't just spiritual money although i feel like you are very spiritually rich i feel like just as much as you spend in the spirit in the spirit world like you're gonna actually gain that in um the real world like physically so this looks really nice i see you having like really nice clothes really nice shoes i see your kids being like dressed and kind of like whatever they want um and they're just like so happy that i feel like they can get whatever they want i want to say this okay like if they want a computer if, if they're younger they want a doll if they they want just like whatever they want they can have all right and i feel like you love this okay you could really be into all right you guys be, might be even getting like new pets you may have like a why am i hearing like a ter a terranium or something like that okay something something about this um but yeah, because I feel like you're, if, if this is you kind of providing, if you're like the provider, I feel like you're happy with, um, with what you have as far as like you don't need anything bigger or better right you have your house you have your car you have your clothes like you have everything so like this is really awesome i feel like you're really doing justice for whoever it is that you're helping out um because i see them helping you in the future afterwards so that's really cool like i said this could be your daughter this could be your son they could end up being you know in whatever field or whatever profession and i just see them sort of like giving back eventually and i feel like you love being able to watch someone that you've helped like like, or raised, um, like look their best, be their best. Okay. So this is really cool. Like I love the energy behind it. All right. So you could be going to like, here, let me not see. I'm so over this card. Like, I so, yeah, I want to say the same thing to you that I said to Aquarius. Like, you might have to ignore someone. Did I say this here, too? Like, you might just have to, like, ignore something or someone or whatever because I feel like they're just, like, a, like a pest, okay? They're they're annoying. Yeah, I feel like the devil's going to, like, either either the devil's going to help you or the, or the devil's going to, yeah, I'm getting, if you're the empress, like, the devil's here to kind of, like, cage these loose animals okay cage these loose spirits that are like running rampant now typically you would think that he's the one like sending them um but i feel like in this instance again depending on what side of the coin you're on um he's kind of going after his own people i want to say that um because people never knew how the devil worked to begin with so as much as he loves to cause certain people pain, he's causing the right people pain. So if you're, if you're sitting here being bothered, yep, that's the truth. If you're being bothered, he's going to go fuck up the person bothering you if you're a good person. He's not going to like antagonize you with these other people. He's going to go fuck up those people because that's who deserves it. So we're kind of bringing justice back into the system, which I love. Okay, King of Pentacles here with the High Priestess. All right, so there's a... And the devil i love this so so there could be um there's i have the king of pentacles and the empress so all right so there's two people here who have the truth all right and they're kind of just sitting back while like this transpires 
um, I want to say, like outside. Because this King of Pentacles is highly intuitive as well. So like you don't always find like men intuits, I want to say, or like, um, which also a program of some sort I have a, like on the computer. But um, yeah, I feel like he's interested in this Empress, in this Empress. Okay, I feel like he wants to bring balance. All right, and I feel like between the both of you, um, okay, so this could be, all right, so you might have a conversation with this person. So depending on if you're male or female, I feel like these two people are talking. I feel like these two people are highly intuitive. They come from the same place. So they could come from the same background, the same industry, the same um, field of some sort. All right, but they're able to communicate in a, in a way where they don't have to explain themselves so much as they would in like other places. And I feel like this brings you closer together. So if this isn't like a romantic thing, this is definitely a business venture. Um, you could like gain a really good friend from, from this. Um, and I love it. I feel like it's very uh, practical. It's very, very, um, it's two people who understand who they are and are able to have good conversation without without anybody else getting in the way okay and i feel like there there is an understanding or like knowledge that's brought between these two people um because i feel like although both are very intuitive like it's always good to sit down and talk about things especially like in person all right so i really like this i see this like happening in person this could be at somebody's house like either one of these two people's houses okay maybe you do go to like um um I wanted to say like some place in the community, right? But this could be like, this could be on a bench. This could be like, like you have a discussion somewhere, but I'm getting more, it's like at a place. So like maybe you go to, I don't know, like a diner or a restaurant, right? Like you, there's some sort of meeting set up so that you can have this conversation. It might not be, I want to say this is someone who you know of but like have never spoken with before so i feel like you two know about each other or know of each other or you've heard each other's names before um but you've never actually had a conversation in person so that's gonna be cool like i said this person is highly intuitive as well and i feel like this sort of shocks you because i feel like you're also highly intuitive so like it's gonna be like a breath of fresh air okay it's gonna be like Yeah, okay, so you're definitely maybe like going to get drinks to have this conversation, but like this conversation is definitely taking place, okay? I really like this energy. Like I said, if you become attracted to this person, like time will tell, okay? But that's not why you're meeting with them, all right? But I feel like maybe you're both attractive people in general and like you're both respectable people and like you come into it as that. So like where it goes from there, I can't tell you, okay? But, um, but I love this and I feel like you get the truth of the matter from both sides. So this is going to be very, um, uh, it's going to be, I was going to say settling, but it's going to be very, like you get, you get all that inform you get all the information that you need to feel better about everything. Like anything that you thought was missing, like, I feel like this person can like kind of fill that in for you. Okay. And can kind of clarify on things. And I feel like it makes you both feel better. And I feel like, um, yeah, this definitely isn't going to be the last time you talk to this person. Like I said, if nothing else, I feel like you're going to stay really good friends with this person. But there's things you don't know that you do need to know that this other person is going to tell you. And I feel like this goes on both ends. So you're going to be getting this communication soon. Um, so just look out for that. Okay, like I said, this could be on any platform, whether it's a DM, this is a text message, okay, or however you communicate an email. But like you are going to be getting it. Somebody is trying to get involved in this and they're not going to be able to, okay? I feel like you're going to have to sneakily do this with this person. And I feel like both of you know this. And that's fine. Like, it's going to be easy enough to do it. But just know this other person's trying to, like, sneak in and, like, listen in and, like, do all this other shit and, like, whatever. Like, they're just, like, really, like, lame for doing that. And that's the truth. But, like, you're both uh, the other two of you that you're going to be together with. Like, um, you're both magicians. So, like, you're not worried about this other extra person who's trying to just be annoying and, like, mess things up like it's impossible all right all right aries i love you so much i'll see you on the next one